and leaked photos, leaked, well, just pictures of the newly crowned, because we know where they're from. The newly crowned Miss USA show that she apparently uh, entered a pole dancing competition. Photos of the uh, beauty queen participating in the competition surfaced online from a radio station. Let's get more on the scoop from todayshow.com's pop culture columnist, Courtney Hazlett. They didn't leak it, they just put them out there online. They just put them yeah. out there online. Uh, Miss USA, Rima Faki won the Stripper 101 contest, apparently, at the Coliseum Gentlemen's Club in 2007. I don't know <laughs> I don't about know. that. Here are the, here's the photo. Ooh. If that's the most salacious stripper photo we ever see in our lives, I think we're going to be just fine. As you can see, she didn't take off her clothes, and she's surrounded by women. I cannot believe this is becoming a controversy in any yeah. way. In fact, pole dancing has become a legitimate form of exercise. There's the <laughs> S-Factor classes in New York and L.A., and <laughs> it's, it's seriously, this is what some people do for exercise now. Let's move on. I hope that there are no repercussions for this young lady who does seem to be very lovely, whether or not she does things with a stripper. So, I mean, I understand that they, <laughs> this legitimate form of exercise. <laughs> the Miss USA folks did, though, contact the radio station. They want Sure, I mean, at the end of the day, they don't want any anything out there to mar her image. Right. But really, b based on other things that have yeah. marred images yeah. of celebrities, pageant yeah. winners, this is about as benign as well, it is. Well, she's going to be on with me tomorrow. So I we're going to get wait. the scoop I on can't this wait. one. Okay. Uh, also, Charlie Sheen, we've been talking about a ton in recent months. Yeah. Uh, finally, he will be back to CBS on Two and a Half Men. So all of that was just a ploy all to that, get more money? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I'm told that he's getting somewhere near the $2 million per episode. Per episode, per that episode. He went, per episode. This man is uh, he's going to have a pretty so hefty when savings he threatened account. threatened to leave and that he was it's walking away. It's, all it's, it's, what, it's what everybody does in, in wow. his position. Um, his trial begins July 21st in Aspen, in case oh. you had forgotten about that. But nonetheless, he's set to film those two more seasons with two and a half Is men. that risky for the networks, it was a CBS, to, to give him so much money, not knowing how the trial is going to turn out? I would have to imagine that the no. contract um, has no. certain provisions okay. for, for what goes on. Because also, there, there's a problem here. If he's found guilty at this trial, it really does look bad to have him on such a family-oriented sitcom. I mean, the, CBS is going to have a major public relations okay. issue on their hands, if that's the case. Hopefully, everything will turn out right. just lovely. And then finally, late in the day yesterday, news broke. Sad news about John Travolta's two dogs that were uh, apparently hit by an airport vehicle in uh, the Bangor International Airport in Maine. The actor had flown in there. A person not a member of the Travolta family was walking the dogs when an airport vehicle on its way to service the airplane hit the two dogs. They released uh, emails last night about what had happened. Um, so just just a sad story. Yeah, it is. Okay. A lot of Thank people you. talking about Thank it. Thank you very much. You got it. it.